started here. My name is Kim Danke, and I started this lifestyle in April of this year. I had gotten to half a pound from my highest weight, and I told myself, you have half a pound to turn this around and go the other way. So I had seen a friend posting on Facebook about something that she was doing, and I reached out to her, and I said, what are you doing? So she told me and she informed me that she had just lost 86 pounds in the past six months, which was crazy. And so uh, she told me all about it and I thought, well, that sounds good, that makes sense. And so I'm one of those people that will scour a website. So I went onto the website and I looked at every tab and every link and every document and every video. So I had touched every single part of the website and just to familiarize myself and make sure this is something I wanted to do. So then I went to, I'm close enough to the Cartersville store that I could actually go to the Shibboleth store. So I went to the Cartersville store and I liked what I saw. And so I signed up that day. That was the Saturday before spring break. Now I went on two trips over spring break, one a family trip, one a work trip. At the second part of that, I started watching all of the daily doses and everything, and I had all the daily doses watched by the time I got home from that second trip. So that was on a Monday, and on Tuesday, I went to the grocery store, and on Wednesday, I got started. So you do not have to know everything to get started. You just have to start and get started, and then you kind of pull everything in together. So I got started on a Wednesday, April 10th. Within one week of following this lifestyle, I had lost nine pounds. Within the first month, I lost 10% of my body weight, which was 18 and a half pounds. And my goal was to get from 185.5 to 150. I thought that was gonna take forever. I thought it was gonna be just take forever. Three months to the day on July 10th, I hit 35 and a half pounds lost on this lifestyle. So it works, it works great. We just have to apply it. The thing about me is I'm a rule follower. So I boil this down to just really simple information for you and I hope it helps because just being able to follow the rules is very freeing to me. I just know what I need to do and that's what I do. So then I went into our maintenance program and in our maintenance program, I lost another 15 pounds. And so I currently, I lost 50 pounds. I mean, total, I've lost 50 pounds. And I didn't even know I had 50 pounds to lose, but I lost it and my body, I, at this point I thought, I'm just gonna let my body settle out where it needs to or where it wants to, and it, it has. I'm really not losing anymore. I'm doing the program, I'm enjoying everything, and I am maintaining my weight loss, and I'm, but I'm not really losing anymore. So that is, our bodies do what they need to do uh, given the right, fueling and everything. So I want to welcome you to Shibboleth or welcome you to the restart of Shibboleth. My name is Kim Danke and if you will, I want you to text a few things, okay? So if you're on your phone now, you can just write this down and it'll be in the video later in the week. So if you don't get it written down, it's okay. But there is no lack of us attempting to train you, motivate you, inspire you uh, on this program. And one of the ways that we do this is through text notifications so that you can find out about when we're gonna go live or special events and that kind of thing. So to get my notifications, you'll just text the word Kimmy to 31996. And then to get Travis's, you just text Travis to 31996. And to get Jason, you type my Jason, all together, one word, no space, to 31996. It would be, separate texts. So don't text them all in the same thing, separate texts. But if you'll do that, um, you will get our notifications. So I am old school. I have a master's degree in education. I used to be a school teacher. I used to be a principal of a school. And here I have my little flip chart just because I think it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. On this program, we have two modes. We have weight loss mode or we have maintenance mode. If you have not hit your goal weight yet, you are going to be in the weight loss mode. And you can make sure that you've got weight loss mode marked in your profile. So if you need to go to the purple tab called profile, click edit, 
and edit the information there, that is where you would mark that you were in weight loss mode. It's that simple. There's two modes, that's it. Another really easy thing. There's two types of days on the program. There is a perfect day or there is a holiday. That's it. You're having one or the other, nothing else. We are allowed up to six holidays in a month in weight loss. And then we're allowed up to 12 holidays in a month in maintenance. Now, I'm a big believer in if you don't really, if you want to lose weight and you want to lose it fast, I would just say to not take holidays unless it's you're going out of town or something special because there's no reason to. We have so much food in this program that I just don't see that if you really want to get the weight off and you want to get it off quick, just follow the program with perfect days because you're eating the food you choose to eat. And I don't see why we can't do that. But if you need it, you are allowed up to six holidays in a calendar month when you're in weight loss and up to 12 holidays in a month when you are in maintenance. Now keep that in mind, it's 12 holidays in a month. That's almost half the month that, um, that you can have holidays. And as long as, this is the most important part, as long as your perfect days are truly perfect days and not okay days, you will maintain your weight loss. So there are five components to a perfect day, and we call this the shibboleth shield. So there's five easy components, water, journal, food combinations, portion control, and timing. So it takes, two perfect days to get into what we call EFB, efficient fat burning. And this is exactly where we wanna to be to burn the most excess stored body fat that we can off of our body. So on your timing chart in your website, when you have your first perfect day, you are going to see a green check. On your second perfect day, you're gonna see another green check. On your third perfect day, you are going to see a flame. It's your third perfect day, but it's your first day in what we call EFB, efficient fat burning. It took two days for your body to get any insulin that was running around in there out, glycogen, sodium, and other things to get us into an efficient fat burning mode. Then I tell people, your job is just to string as many efficient fat burning days together as you can for the best weight loss. So component number one of having a perfect day is water. You want to drink at least half a gallon of water, but your goal is a gallon. So, and I'm kind of hardcore, don't do 63 ounces because that's not keeping the integrity of the program because the minimum amount that you want to get in to make it a perfect day is at least 64 ounces. So that's four water bottles. I was going to show you one if I had one, but I don't. You all know what a water bottle looks like. But it's just four 16 ounce water bottles, just drink them down. Um, but your goal is a gallon, and I'm gonna tell you, this is a huge, huge part of not being hungry. This is a huge part of making it from breakfast to lunch, then making it from lunch to dinner. If you are truly getting in that gallon of water, you are not gonna feel nearly as hungry, and you're gonna be much more satisfied, and you're gonna have much better success. So component number two of a perfect day is journaling your food. If you hog it, you log it. If you bite it, you write it. If you nibble it, you scribble it. If you drink it, you ink it. If it goes in your mouth, you write it down. Everybody wants to journal a holiday because they're, they've done great and they're good. But they don't really want to journal a, uh, um, I mean, excuse me, they want to journal a perfect day because they've done great. They don't really want to journal a holiday because they feel like they've done something wrong. Journal all of it. You journal all of it. And there's nothing wrong with having a holiday. It is part of our program, okay? If it was not part of the program, this would not be a lifestyle. This would not be something that we could stick with. But journaling is very, very important. It helps us make very conscious decisions about what we're choosing to do with food. It also helps us learn to modify any behaviors that we are identifying that need to be modified. Component number three of a perfect day is to eat foods in 
eat properly combined meals. Properly, properly combined meals keep away the fat bus. And we're gonna talk about the fat bus in just a second, but the fat bus is a real thing. It might sound like it's funny, but it's a real thing and I don't want the fat bus coming, I can tell you that. Component number four of a perfect day is to eat properly portioned meals. So you're just gonna eat your meals from a six to eight inch plate using the two hand rule. You're gonna put your hands together as close, to, as close as you can together. And then you're going to lay them over your food. It should, your food should not be any thicker than the thickest part of your hand. And your hand should cover all your food. And not from this vantage point, from this vantage point, okay? <laughs> I have people send me pictures all the time that they're covering their food up like this. Um, so put your hands down over there and just utilize that. I absolutely love that we are not counting calories, that we are not measuring, that we are not weighing. I like the uh, rule, it's so simple. I can do this anywhere by utilizing that simple, simple rule for portion control. The reason we want a portion control is because one pound of fat, one pound has 3,500 calories in it. We have to go into a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories to lose a pound, to get us where we want to be. So in order to do that, you have to portion control your food. And so that's what that's all about, is getting us where we need to be. Component number five of a perfect day is timing. So when you wake up, try to eat within an hour or two of waking, and then you'll have your next meal four to six hours later, and then you'll have your next meal four to six hours later. And that basically is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's plenty of food. It really is plenty of food. And what we're doing by eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner is we are learning not to graze because grazing does nothing for our metabolism. Our metabolism is like a fire and it needs to be stoked for it to burn efficiently. So you wake up, you break your overnight fast with breakfast and with an hour or two, because some people really aren't breakfast people and don't want to eat 15, 20 minutes after they wake up. So with an hour or two of waking, and then you're going to stoke the fire about four to six hours later. Then you're gonna stoke the fire again about four to six hours later. But as with any fire, if we just went and laid a whole bunch of stuff on a fire, it will smother that fire out. So that's like food. If we constantly are putting food in our body, constantly grazing, we're never giving our body a break and it, we will smother our metabolism. So you may have heard me say that we're allowed three meals on the program. We eat breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, and dinner for the Holy Spirit. And this is a way to give thanks to the Lord for the three meals a day that we do get because there are people in this world that don't even get three meals a day. So we're very blessed to have three meals a day. Now, sometimes people have a moment of weakness and we have, we have things for that if you're having a moment of weakness. But don't just utilize it for the heck of it. You're trying to get into a calorie deficit. So if you utilize these things, you're just slowing down your progress. You're still gonna lose weight. You're just slowing down the progress a little bit. So if you're having a moment of weakness, then we have something called freebies, an extra, and a snack, okay? So if I was having a moment of weakness, I go to my water first. Water is your first um, option. So if you were thinking, man, I just ate, like two hours ago, I've got three more hours before lunch and I'm really, really hungry. And you're gonna go to your water first. And I highly suggest that you just guzzle a 16 ounce water bottle. Just drink it down. Because what will happen is that water just gets in there really fast, it sits in your stomach, your stomach feels full. And your mind says, I'm satisfied, because it was really a moment of mental weakness, not that we actually needed any food. So your mind feels unsatisfied and then you make it another hour and a half or so. And if you need to drink another water bottle, drink another water bottle. So my go-to is water. And if you're really trying to get that half, that, that full gallon of water in, you can see where if you're drinking that water, it will help you be satisfied all along throughout the day. But if you need something, if you, besides the water, you just have to have something, my first choice would be go to a freebie. And a freebie is something that's gonna have hardly any impact calorie-wise on your body. It won't have any impact bringing the fat bus or anything like that. So 
freebies first, because if the freebie can get you through that, you, you hardly had any impact at all on your uh, efficiently burning fat. Then if you need something else, you could do something like an extra. An extra might be something like a cocoa ringa hot chocolate or a bio coffee. Those have about 70 calories in them. And I really like those for extras because it takes longer to enjoy that. And so you're enjoying that over a longer period of time and it lasts a long time and it's very satisfying. And then a snack is something that can be up to 200 calories, okay? So you can see how what I'm saying is accurate. If you're trying to go in a calorie deficit of about 3,500 calories to lose a pound of fat, adding in an extra that's about 70 to 100 calories, or adding in a snack that's about 200 calories, you could see how that would slow down your process, okay? Now, in maintenance, I've actually had to add these things back to not to continue losing weight. Sometimes I have them and sometimes I don't. But in maintenance, that's a whole different, uh, that's a whole different animal. But in weight loss, a snack is not a lady's friend. And I don't need anybody near me that's not my friend. So I didn't have any snacks in weight loss. I really didn't. Now I have added them back in maintenance, but I did not do them in weight loss because I had a goal. I had a why. I wanted that off I uh, wanted to feel better and so I just stuck with it and it was actually much more fun just to feel challenged every day that I was going to get this get this off and get this done so timing now guess what we have five components to the shibboleth shield we just went over them water journal food combinations portion control and timing the timing one this one right here this is the one that's not going to throw you off of having a perfect day if you don't meet it exactly okay and the reason is we all have different schedules uh, we, we we live different work lives different personal lives different lives with our kids all those kind of things so if you don't meet this exactly then that's the one that's not going to throw you off of having a perfect day but you for sure want to get all your water in, journal, eat in the proper food combinations, and, and portion control. And this right here is one for optimization, okay? Now, I'm gonna revisit uh, number three, uh, the component number three of the shibboleth shield, because we have to combine foods in a way that controls it, insulin and gets us into EFB. Okay, so in order to do that, you have to learn the seven food categories that we utilize. So there are seven food categories that Travis, our founder, has um, separated all whole foods basically into, and we're going to go over those right now. One is a lean protein, two is a fibrous carb, three is an energy carb, four is a protein plus fat. Five is a fruit, or sometimes called an antioxidant card. Six is a superfood, and seven is shellfish. So I'm gonna talk about them real quick. Category one, lean protein, and category seven, shellfish, are really actually the exact same thing. They're both a lean protein. In fact, shellfish used to be in number one, but because some people are allergic to it and some people for biblical reasons didn't want to eat it, Travis pulled it off. That's how it ended up at the end, at number seven, because he already had two through six and all of his documents on it with two through six. So number seven is shellfish. But shellfish, number category seven and category one are the exact same thing. They are a lean protein. They can be used in the exact same way. Now, category two and three, the fibrous carb and the energy carb, there's a lot of things that are considered vegetables in both of those categories, but not all vegetables break down in our body in the same way, so we just need to learn which ones are in category two and which ones are in category three. More of your green vegetables, your um, broccoli, green beans, asparagus, Brussels sprout, sprouts, spinach, lettuce, uh, cauliflower, those kind of things are in category two. But your all your peas, all your uh, light colored beans, corn, tomatoes, onions, uh, things like that are in category three. Oh, and all potatoes are in category three. So you just have to learn which one is in which category. And you just do that by writing down what you like to eat, learning what category they're in, and then we'll learn how to pair exactly what you like to eat together to make a perfectly uh, combined meal. Protein plus fat, it's a great protein for you. All steak is in that category and whole eggs are in that category. 
So it's a great protein. It's just got a little bit more fat than a category one or category seven. And then five speaks for itself. That's your antioxidant carb or fruit. All fruit is in that category. In the category six, your superfoods, that's where all your nuts are, all your seeds, all your nut butters, avocado, hummus, guacamole, um, Wendy's chili, and specifically Wendy's chili, not other chili, but specifically Wendy's chili, or an approved chili from the recipe library. Um, those, those are in category six superfoods. Now, there are some, there, there's some rules to combining, and, and right now, in this particular lesson, I don't like to show the big old chart because we're gonna look at that throughout the week in different lessons. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually go back to the other page after I read this one because I want to use utilize it. But there's some rules, there's some combinations that, there's a lot of combinations, but there's some rules for the most efficient fat burning ones that you're gonna wanna use in your first week. But if you have pen and paper, I'd write down what I'm saying next because this is good information to know. Let's look back here. I want you to know which ones that you can eat by themselves if you wanted to or needed to. The reason I say that is because some I, I work a business development job Monday through Friday. Shibboleth is my, my fun, awesome, uh, I do this because I love it job, but I work another job Monday through Friday and I go to a lot of luncheons and things like that. So. I need to know what I can eat by itself because if I go to a luncheon and all they've got is a bunch of energy carbs and a meat, I'm just going to eat the meat and that, that will keep me in efficient fat burning by doing that. So you can eat a number one by itself, a lean protein. You can eat two, a fibrous carb by itself. You can eat a four, a protein plus fat by itself. You can eat superfood, number six by itself, and you can eat shellfish, number seven by itself if you ever needed to. So all of those are okay to eat by themselves. The only two I didn't say you could eat by themselves are a three or a five. Okay, so don't eat them by themselves. Now, let's go back. There's a caveat for the five. When you get into maintenance, category five, fruit is a freebie. Uh, it just has to be treated differently while you're in weight loss. So while you're in weight loss, don't eat a category three or a five by itself. So over the course of the week, we're going to familiarize ourselves with a combination chart. But in your first seven days, I want you to keep it really, really simple. And I want you to know that there is no reason that you cannot lose seven pounds in seven days following this fast track if you just jump in tomorrow and start following the shield. It doesn't even have to be that you get absolutely everything right. And you don't have to know exactly what you're doing to start you know you can get your water in. You know you can do that. That's easy. And then journal. You know you can write down what you eat. That's easy. And then if you keep it simple like this, you'd be combining foods. And if you portion control, there you go. You could have a perfect day tomorrow if you just keep it simple, okay? And I do recommend that you keep it simple in the beginning, but there's so much in Shibboleth that makes this the lifestyle that it is that you'll eventually branch out to those things, okay? And if you are restarting, which I know I've got some restarting folks on here. If you are restarting, restart with the dogged determination that you are going to have perfect days and that you're not going to let anything determine because you already know what to do. You just need this restart. You need the refamiliarization, refamiliarization of the program. You need to have your why set up again. So all you got to do is start tomorrow. And I always tell people that I personally determine my day. I don't let the day determine me. So I wake up in the morning, everybody checks their email, their Facebook and everything else, usually before they get even out of the bed, you may be different, but most people check all this stuff first thing in the morning. Make go into your Shibboleth website or your Shibboleth journal app um, a process in the morning. Go ahead and determine your day. Determine that you're gonna have a perfect day and how much water you're gonna have. And just don't let anything make that not be a perfect day. Because even if you're out and about, you can have approved Chick-fil-A. You can have approved Wendy's. You can have approved Arby's. You can have approved um, pizza at a restaurant by scraping the toppings off of the pizza and putting it on a salad. So, I mean, there's no excuse. There's no excuse not to have a perfect day. 
unless we're just having moments of mental weakness because this is easy. This program is easy. So we're going to keep it real simple this week. A category one is a lean protein. A category two is a fibrous carb. And we're going to cook that in MCT oil. We're going to go over MCT oil in just a minute because it's an amazing oil. Or do a seven plus two plus MCT. So simple. It's very, very easy to do. Find some ones that you like, some lean proteins. Find some twos that you like, some fibrous carbs. And just pair them up. I tell people, make a list of 10 of each. And then just like elementary school, just draw your lines together. The things that you think will taste good together. Cook it in some MCT oil and do that. So Fred, you work at McDonald's. Well, Fred, there is approved McDonald's. So your, your best friend, Fred, is going to be an approved tortilla because you can have a McDonald's hamburger on an approved tortilla. And you can also take a sandwich, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a turkey sandwich. You can take those with you in a, just a cooler bag and take some approved, approved chips and everything. So you can, you can do that. You can do that at McDonald's. Okay, so you're gonna keep it simple with those food combinations. Utilize some meal replacements. Meal replacements, and Fred, that's another good idea. Meal replacements are something that keep our lives easy. Um, we, if you have, don't have time in the morning to make breakfast, utilize some of our amazing meal replacements. That Finiflex oatmeal protein pie is delicious. I absolutely love it. And then, um, there's health bars and all kinds of things that, that you use. So you can make that for yourself for breakfast or maybe you're running out the door and you don't have time to do something for lunch, throw something in there. But always have a little survival kit with you and that would include having a tortilla with you in case you end up somewhere that you need a piece of bread to eat something approved from a restaurant menu. So speaking of restaurants, this is really, really important. So let's say you go to a restaurant and you order a piece of chicken thinking that it's a lean protein because if you cooked it at home, it would be a lean protein. But at a restaurant, you have no idea what they cooked that chicken in. They could have cooked it in an unapproved oil for our program. Well, what happens then is they have basically cooked fat into that chicken. You can still eat that chicken. That is not a problem. It's just considered at that point a protein plus fat. And you would make sure that you only had a category two fibrous carb with it. Well, guess what? If they didn't have any good choices and you happen to have that tortilla that I'm talking about with you in your purse or your pocket, then you just whip that out, wrap it around that chicken, and you have a category two and a category four together, and you will be still efficiently burning fat. Or you could just eat the chicken by itself if you needed to, if they didn't have a good category four. But most places do have a salad that you can eat with that category four. Okay, now, really, really important. So remember a minute ago how I said, do not eat a category three or five by itself. Here is the hard and fast rule on categories three and five. If you want to eat a category three or a category five, which is an energy card, or fruit. If you want to eat either one of those categories, it must be eaten with a category one and a category two. So that's a must and an and. It must be eaten with a category one and a category two. And that right there is going to keep you safe from bringing the fat bus, which I'm going to talk about in a few pages when I flip over. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Y'all let me know if you have any questions about what I've said so far, because I'm gonna get into some other things. And I, tomorrow night, we are going to have a food combining webinar. So it's gonna be again tomorrow night at eight o'clock. I've got a list of lean proteins, a list of fibrous carbs and other things, and we're gonna show you how to pair those together. Um, but there is no, pro no reason you couldn't start tomorrow because you could have some eggs in the morning that would be a simple thing. You could do egg white omelet with spinach. You could do whole eggs if you wanted to. And if you happen to have an approved bread at home, because for those of us that are restarting, those of you that are restarting probably have some of that. Because one of the things that I do, you guys, is I don't ever buy anything anymore that's not approved. 
If it's not approved, I don't need it in my house. So the great thing about Shibboleth is in the fibers card category two category, we have over 60 approved bread or bread type items that make this lifestyle very, very doable. On this program, we do not exclude any macronutrients at all. A program that excludes macronutrients is not one that people are willing to keep up with for the rest of our, their life. They're just not. Most people are not willing to give up bread, carbs, and fruit for the rest of their life and live on just those other things. So you want to make sure that you have those things with you at all times. Okay, so nobody's asked any questions, so I'm going to move on. All right, so MCT oil. This right here is very, very important. MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride. And this is why you want to use medium chain triglyceride going forward. I just am never even gonna buy the other oils ever again. I don't need it. It's not, it's not what I need in my house. So the other oils are olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, and such, things like that. Those are long chain triglycerides, okay? So we have an LCT versus an MCT. So our other approved cooking oils are coconut oil, which is 60% MCT oil, but we highly recommend that you use 100% MCT oil that has been maximized for cooking. And um, then you could obviously use uh, our uh, ghee butter, which is a clarified butter, and you can use one, uh, zero calorie cooking spray, okay? But medium chain triglyceride is um, amazing because it burns up like this. It burns up very, very fast. In fact, when you're cooking, this is a warning, a warning right now. When you are cooking, make sure that you cook on low to medium heat so that you can, um, so that you don't set off your smoke detector in your house because it has a low smoke point because it burns up really fast. But the good news for us is that it burns up so fast in our bodies too that it has almost no propensity to be stored on the body as fat. Now, the LCTs, though, they take forever to burn up, forever to burn up, okay? And so what happens is, let's say we've eaten an LCT, a long-chain triglyceride, okay? And it's running around in our body. And our body needs some energy. Then our body is always going to go to the quickest and easiest source of energy, so if we've got some LCTs running around in there that are taking forever to burn up, it's gonna go to that um, source, that quickest source first. Here's the problem. Do we ever get to our stored body fat if we're always giving it something immediate to burn? Y'all answer that question for me. Are we ever getting to stored body fat if we're always eating long chain triglycerides that our body can uh, just easily access. So what we need to be doing is we need to be eating and cooking with MCT oil that burns up like that, okay? Awesome, thank you, Fred. Um, it burns up like that, okay? So when it burns up, our body, when it needs energy, goes to our stored fat. That's how we know, see this is, this is the part of shibboleth that's so awesome. We know how to get into efficient fat burning. And efficient fat burning is just being able to access that stored fat and get it off of our bodies. So MCT oil is gonna help us do that. And we'll give one last example. Let's say you have a long candle wick, that would be our LCTs, and we have our little short candle wick as our medium chain triglyceride. If I lit both of these, which one's gonna burn up the fastest? Obviously the shorter one, the MCT, is gonna burn up faster. So that was just another little example. Um, another little bit of information, you want to, let's say that you're cooking one piece of chicken, one serving of chicken for yourself. You could use about a tablespoon of MCT oil. So I put that in my pan, turn my chicken over, use that, and put a little seasoning on there, and it makes it really, really good. I even, Put, poured my MCT oil that was left because see some of it burns up in cooking. There's about a hundred calories in a tablespoon of MCT oil, but some of that's going to burn up in cooking. Remember how I said it burns up quickly? So you're not actually going to get the whole hundred calories. So I wouldn't worry about that and let that bother me. Um, but 
I also just poured what was left in my pan into a little ramekin. And as I cut my chicken, I would dip it like a little au jus sauce, or I could drizzle that over my broccoli or my cauliflower, you know, something simple like that. But I ate all of the MCT oil because I had some good seasoning in mine and I wanted to eat it and taste it. But just because you're hearing me tell you that MCT oil is a good part of getting you into efficient fat burning, please, whatever you do, do not just take it as a supplement, okay? Because like I said, there's about 100 calories in a tablespoon of MCT oil. So if you just take it as a supplement, you didn't use it for a purpose. None of it burned up while you were cooking anything. You're just literally putting 100, 100 calories in your body. And yes, it burns up quickly, but still it's not what we wanna do. That's not optimized, okay? And you don't want to make bulletproof coffee or do anything like that. We're not into adding calories and fat to our coffee. Let's see if there was anything else I was going to say about MCT. I don't know. But if you think of any questions, let me know about that. But this is amazing. Just switch your oils over. Okay. So this right here is one of those things that when I learned this, I thought, oh my goodness, I don't ever ever want the fat bus to come again and literally when I'm on a holiday I'm going the fat bus is coming because uh, you know we're having a holidays and they're going to come on the holiday because we're not eating in properly combined foods so the fat bus is insulin all right insulin it does well insulin is a hormone and many of us know that hormones are very powerful and this hormone is a growth hormone so think about this, after about 18 years of age and we've finished growing taller, we've gotten as tall as we're gonna get, do we want to do any other growing? I don't, I don't because you're not growing taller, you're just growing wider and none of us wanna grow wider. Okay, so it's a growth hormone. Insulin is also a fat storage hormone. None of us wanna do that either. So it's a fat storage hormone. So if that is not something you knew before, take that bit of information right there and just be determined that you are not bringing the fat bus. And here's the other thing, insulin increases your appetite. So for those of you who are restarting, do you remember when you maybe had a holiday and then you're getting back on your perfect day and you think, holy, I'm so hungry. Well, the reason is it takes us about 48 hours. Remember those two perfect days to get back into EFB? It takes us about 48 hours to get all that insulin out of our body and insulin increases appetite. So we are likely to be a little hungry on the day after a holiday. It's just the way that it is. But that's when you utilize everything to your advantage by filtering all your decisions through the Shibboleth Shield. Am I getting all my water in? Am I doing everything right? Just be determined that you're going to do all of those things and that you're going to do them in the right way. So after a holiday, it takes two perfect days to get back into EFB. But I'm going to go back to the fat bus real quick. And I'm going to use a classic example. The classic example of ordering when you're out at a restaurant, a steak and a baked potato. Never, ever do that again. In fact, I can't even do that on a holiday now because I just imagine what is going on in my body, all right? So we're gonna talk about the steak first. This steak is a good protein. It's a good protein, but it has more fat in it than a lean protein. So there are some fat lipids running around in our body. It's just the way that it is. Then we've eaten a potato. And first of all, that potato is probably not a reasonably sized potato. It's probably the size of your hand, which is huge for a potato. Um, Cause in this program, when you're putting your food underneath your hands, and if you are doing a category three and you've had your one and a two with it, you're gonna get about a quarter of a cup potato, not the size of your hand potato, okay? But you've eaten this potato at a restaurant so your potato that you've eaten is bringing a very large insulin release. It's just dumping insulin out into your system, okay? So the reason that insulin is called a fat bus is because its job as a fat storage hormone and a growth hormone is to go around and pick up those fat lipids. So just like a bus, a bus's job is to go around and pick up people and take them to their destination. This is so amazing that takes them to their destination. So this insulin goes and picks up fat, just like it's supposed to do. 
It takes it to the destination. So it's storing it, takes it to the storage facility. Where's the storage facility? Can anybody tell me where the storage facility is? I wanna see y'all type where the storage facility is because I wanna make sure y'all know what I'm talking about, where the storage facility is. So this is going around in your body. So you can see how if you know this is happening, please don't eat a category three or a category five with anything. All right, Frida's in her stomach. Her storage facility is in her stomach. Some people have theirs other places and anywhere. It, it's just stored all over, but I wanted to see what your answers would be because we all know where we store fat the most. So it takes it to there, it takes it there. So just imagine, don't bring the fat bus. So if you're gonna eat something that's gonna bring an insulin release, yep, okay, I got a, a butt and a stomach listed, yes. And so you, you're eating, you're having your insulin release here because you ate a category three energy carb or you ate some fruit, make sure that you don't pair that with a category four that's got a lot more fat in it. And I really wouldn't pair that with a category six superfood because they have more fat in them as well. So to keep yourself safe, you want to eat a category four with a category two fibrous carb. You're gonna eat your protein plus fat with a fibrous carb. I mean, that's easy to know. There's no reason not to do it. Um, you can also eat, let's say that you wanna have a little bit of steak, but you want some little bit of chicken, or maybe you're having a little bit of steak and a little bit of lobster at a restaurant. That's okay too, because you're not giving yourself an insulin release from eating those other lean proteins at all. So I hope that makes sense. I think the fact that we know all that this is just scientific. I call Travis a biohacker and he hacks biology and tells us how to do it. I'm so thankful that I didn't have to come up with the program. I'm so thankful I just get to follow the program and now I get to teach the program. So meal planning, as I said earlier, what I'd love for you to do this week, um, even tonight, go on to the food library and make yourself a list of 10 lean proteins, make a list of 10 fibrous carbs and mix and match those and then throw in a few meal replacements meal replacements for simplicity. And you really could be starting this tomorrow. And within seven days, you could lose seven pounds. So, but now Thanksgiving's going on and I, I bet we're all gonna have a holiday on Thanksgiving. But if not, then, then you know, you could, there's no reason you couldn't keep Thanksgiving um, perfect too, because there's gonna be turkey, there's gonna be green beans, you can do that. So, um, so but anyway, you wanna be meal planning. And my goal would really for you to be is, seven pounds in seven days if you're truly following what we say. So if it's gonna take your mind a couple of days to get everything ready, then seven pounds from seven days from the day that you start journaling and doing everything perfectly. I think y'all can understand what I'm saying about that. All right. The other thing you wanna make sure that you do is take care of, I mean, take advantage of all of our amazing resources. So first of all, I'm assuming that most of you guys are on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, um, then you can let me know and I can send you all of the videos for the week via email, but that is, does make it harder on me. So if you're on Facebook, please get them from Facebook, okay? But if you've gotten this, if you've gotten the notification about this webinar and are on here and truly don't have Facebook, you can let me know. But otherwise, please check every single morning for a post. I am going to post each morning. It's probably going to come into your the Facebook group that you're in before you ever wake up in the morning. I post them about 5:30 in the morning, so that's where we're gonna where that's gonna be. Do that little video. It's gonna help you walk through the website this week. We're gonna watch the daily doses. Those of you who are restarting, please, please, please rewatch the daily doses. It is so important to be motivated and to learn. Uh, be re-familiarized with some of the things that we're doing that we shouldn't be doing anymore and kind of get back to our why. Frida, you're up at three. Well, you might have to wait till 5.30 then <laughs> to get yours, but I, that will pop out in the morning, okay? Then watch all the daily doses. But after you're finished with this group, this group lasts for one week, and then it's gonna repeat itself for a next group of restarting people or a next group of new members, okay? You are going to get the bulk of your Shibboleth support online from two groups, the Silver Level Facebook group, so you need to be a member of that, and the Shibboleth Fixed It group, you need to be a member of that. So those groups are linked in your Facebook group that you're in now, 
So they should be right there. And then we have the amazing website. It is so amazing. We have thousands of food in the food library that have been made sure that there's enough protein and fiber in them to work on the program. There is amazing descriptions on how to utilize the, those items. I revisit them all the time. I don't eat anything or buy anything unless I've looked it up because looking those things up helps us learn them. Once we've learned them and we are doing them as our normal now, our new normal, then you won't have to look them up anymore. But in the beginning, you might have to look them up. We have an app, it's called the Shibboleth Journal app. It's not nearly as comprehensive as our website because it costs way too, money, too much money to keep that on an app. But the app does have all of the most important things on there, the journals. So you could quick and e quickly and easily journal just by taking a picture of your food, bam, take a picture, log it. And then you've got the recipe library, the food library, and the exhaustive restaurant guide on there. So if you are a person who is out and about a lot, go to the restaurant guide, go to the restaurants that you go ahead and familiarize, I mean, go ahead and the ones you go to the most often, and write down how you need to order the foods that you order and take whatever it is you need to take with you to make that Shibboleth approved. If you even need to take something with you, I don't, I just eat it the way they tell me to. So, and then we also have free mentor appointments, mentor.genbook.com. And genbook, the G-E-N part is like you're generating an appointment. So mentor.genbook.com. I highly recommend that you schedule an appointment with one of our amazing mentors. These folks have been where you are right now. And they are going to help you with compassion. They're going to help you with empathy. And they have want nothing more than to see you succeed in this program. And they will talk you through a, a, a meal plan. They will talk you through whatever you need. So you can set those up. They're free anytime. You just call up and, or you just go online and schedule the appointment. They call you and we go from there. And then if you will, focus on this fast track this week. So you're going to have a post tomorrow morning. And then you're going to have a post Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning. Tomorrow night at 8 p.m., we're going to have a food combining webinar. And then we could be applying this this week. There is no lack of reason to be applying this this week. So focus on this this week. And I know that many of you may be off of work and doing other things or traveling, but there's still no reason you have your phone in your hand. There's no reason you cannot do the little assignments that are in there. And part of the assignments are watching the daily doses. And then on Saturday, part of the assignment is to take your phase one foundation badge. If you are restarting, I do highly recommend that you take it again and just make sure you have all of that uh, under your belt. So you're welcome. You're welcome. It's 8.51. I like to keep things quick, short, to the point because we're going to be covering these things in multiple um, videos over the week, but the videos over the week are also going to take you into the different tabs on the website and show you how to use each one of those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording real quick so that everybody else can